Hey guys, I'm Nick. We haven't made a video in a while. We've been extremely busy with fishing charters, but today we're going to take a few minutes. We're going to go over a 2019 Old Town Topwater 120 PDL. That's a mouthful, all right? Uh, James at Broxton Outdoors was nice enough to let us bring it home, look it over. Uh, we're going to do a quick walkthrough. I haven't had it on the water yet. I just wanted to look it over, uh, put everything together, you know, simple, simple stuff. I uh, got a little sweaty in the process because it is hot. It's been hot for weeks out here in Florida, okay? Uh, overall, first impression, it's a good-looking kayak, all right? They've made some adjustments. They actually put a front-facing rod holder right here, which is going to be nice. You still have your two that face rearward, which is really, really nice. Uh, but that front-facing rod holder really is going to make it a lot easier than in the past. Typically, we mount something here that gives us the forward-facing rod holder, but it often gets in the way with the rear-facing rod holder, so that is nice. Uh, definitely a big improvement. Um, the rudder is plastic, which as you most of you probably know, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I prefer the metal one that's been on the Old Town Predator PDL. Uh, but I don't know anyone who's actually broke that yet, so we're not going to be too upset about it until someone breaks it. Uh, but overall, that's probably the only thing I have a problem with. Um, other than that, it's a great looking kayak, you know. Um, it's nice to see them put these tracks right here that have the preset grooves in it. But I'll take a minute and I'll go over all that stuff. Uh, has the same pedal system that was in the Topwater 10.5 or 10.6. Um, nice kayak, man. I'm pretty impressed and I look forward to getting it on the water. I'm going to pull the camera off the tripod. I already took some B-roll footage of it. But I'm going to you know, move the tripod around and talk to you guys about each individual section. I think you guys will like it. If you're in the market for a 12-foot kayak... Um, it's not too heavy. Um, I liked it. So, uh, you guys, go to your local dealership. If you live here in the Navarre area, uh, Broxton Outdoors has a few in stock. They're not going to be there long, but I know there's more on order. Um, I think it retails for $2,150 plus tax. Uh, it's not a bad price, okay? Uh, the pedal drive still has a five year warranty, uh, and it can't be touched. And really, we haven't broke one in several years since they've improved it. And, uh, we beat the crap out of them on a daily basis. So let's uh, move the tripod and start talking about some individual features. All right, we're going to start at the back. I already mentioned that the rudder is a plastic material. It has a handle built in probably to help you carry it. It also has a handle on this side, which is probably going to be much sturdier, okay? We moved it around to get it back here in the backyard, uh, my wife and I. We used it, this handle here. Didn't really grab on that. It's something that, although it does look pretty solid, I don't know, I'm a little skeptical. But I don't know anyone who's broken, so hey, who cares? The bungee obviously was secured in place, which would kind of be weird if you're pulling on it. So that's kind of weird. This handle's nice, it's solid, it'll do the job. You got some bungee back here in the rear. Uh, you know, put a crate here. There's little grooves here to put a crate so it doesn't slide back and forth, which is nice. You got four scupper holes back here to drain any water, which is obviously very, very important. Um, that's about that for that area. One more thing about the rudder is there's a turnbuckle system here, which is very, very nice. So over time, these cables will loosen and you can adjust those, which will tighten the cable and take all the play out of it, which is very, very nice. Uh, here's the rear facing rod holders, nothing to it. If you can see right here, which you probably can't. All right, so we had to move the tripod so you guys can see this, but this is how you control the rudder. Nice and easy backwards, boom. Goes all the way down like so. Nice and easy back up, nothing to it. Rubber band secures it, bungee secures it, and you're good to go. You got these straps right here that will secure the seat when they're properly installed. Nothing to it. Just clips in place. We just set it up so we haven't done all the fine tuning yet. But nothing to it. Easy design. Does a great job. Uh, this seat, it, uh, it does not come with anything on the back to hold tackle or anything. That's one of the nicer features on the Predator PDL. Uh, doesn't have any underseat storage either, which I'm not a big fan of. But for the price point, you can strap a backpack back there, any kind of bag. And you're good to go. Tons of aftermarket accessories for that stuff. Um, simple seat, you know, they call it like an element air, so it's breathable. Uh, that's cool. It is hot, so it does make a difference, all right? Uh, 
We'll move the uh, tripod again and we'll get you a different angle of cup holder, four facing rod holders, and so on. All right, guys, as you can see here, here's your rear facing rod holder. Here's your forward facing rod holder, which is going to be in a great spot. Uh, you still have this quick access hatch underneath the seat. More than likely only used for rigging purposes, you know, installing a fish finder, running wires, things like that. Um, it's not really an accessible spot while you're on the water. And if you got that much stuff on the kayak, you, you're probably just bringing away too much stuff to begin with. Obviously, here's where the seat slides. If you guys look real, real close right here, this little divot right here, it's going to allow you to put your rod underneath the seat and your rod will sit there. And there are grooves that go out the front of the kayak that I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, you got a huge cup holder right here. Uh, plenty of room to store stuff. There's actually these little grooves for holding your rod to probably do a pretty good job of just holding soft plastics or small boxes of stuff behind your seat and stop them from sliding around. So definitely some thought put into this kayak. I like it. Um, here's the knob they upgraded for all the 2019 and newer boats. Um, you can adjust this little knob and change the tension. I don't believe you can adjust the tension on the back anymore because all there is is a little split ring down there instead of there being a nut. Uh, so you can adjust the tension and keep your rudder in the right place. All right, uh, we're going to move on forward. Look at the front of the kayak. All right, guys, so the front of this seat like we talked about before, there's no storage under here for stuff like there is in the Predator series. Um, not a big deal. You can buy stuff and fix that. No big deal. Um, here are your grooves right here, your tracks. They already have it cut out so you can put a lot of your rail accessories on there. Um, it's no big deal. It's pretty nice. Now, here's the drive system that's been in the it's been in the Ocean Kayak Malibu, and it was in the Topwater 10.6. Same system as all of them, just a little different little box. Always been a big fan of this setup right here. It has some bungees right here, and you can flip this guy, and he pops up. Right now, uh, there's just the VIN number stuff in there and some scupper plugs. But there's a seal right here. It does a great job being waterproof. The old system for the predator series is a round hatch and doesn't do a very good job and fills with water all right not very fast but it does happen um other than that good looking kayak up front too plenty of room to stand up has a small little measuring board situation uh which is, appears to be some kind of style some kind of foam yoga mat looking stuff not really sea deck or anything but just some kind of foam goes from one to 15 inches if you're fishing inshore probably a great reference for uh speckled trout and stuff like that but I wouldn't rely on I'd use an actual tape measure so you don't have any problems with the law or anything like that. Uh, we'll uh, get a front on view and I'll show you where those rod holders are. They're pretty nice. I kind of like them. Uh, it's a cool little feature. All right, guys. So here is the rod holder situation right here. You can see it on both sides. Might be hard for you to see underneath here, but your buddy your rod will sit there and the rod will extend out through here. When I see this boat, when I think about the 10.6, they were really well designed for you know, small bodies of water. Uh, typically a bass fisherman is gonna be fishing around heavy cover, you know, trees and stuff like that. So having the rods down is gonna be important. If you're using this boat somewhere around like three mile bridge in the Pensacola area, um, obviously you're fishing underneath the bridge. So having your rod straight up isn't always the best answer. Uh, some low hanging columns, fish pulls you in there, you snap your rods. So keeping your rods low on the deck is important. Um, obviously they're going to extend out quite a little ways in front because this is probably only six foot long you're looking at seven foot rod it's probably going to come close to the tip if not a little bit longer uh, nothing wrong with that it's something that you know will come down to personal preference that people will get used to um, and i spent the last few hours looking over it i set it up took a bunch of pictures of it took some b-roll had a few extra looks even saw a few different things while going over this walkthrough that I do like, man. Overall, it's a great kayak. Price point is pretty darn good. Uh, the bungee stuff, bungee straps and everything, real, real nice as always. Um, it is a quality product, there's no doubt about it. It's well built, it's gonna last a long time. The warranty is obviously fantastic. Five years here, lifetime on the haul, manufacturer defect. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a new kayak, you're looking for a 12 foot kayak, this is not gonna be a bad choice. You know, as, as always, uh, I definitely recommend demoing them before you buy them, regardless of brand, make, model. doesn't matter. Take the kayak out. Everyone has personal preferences, and not everyone's will ever be the same. There are different applications. There are different needs. So go out, demo it, and then make your decision. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. I will reply. 
Obviously, it is the busiest time for our charter season, so we've been on the water every day, once or twice a day. Fishing has been great. If you're looking to see fishing photos, check out our Facebook page. It's easy to find, just Navarre Kayak Fishing. You can't miss it. Um, but as always, I look forward to you guys booking your next adventure and, you know, submit those questions. We're here to answer them. Have a good day. All right, I'm just kidding. We're not done. I forgot the most important part of the entire kayak. It's how the transducer mounts. Now, you can put the transducer cable through here. You can run it in here. You can drill some holes, do all kinds of fancy stuff. But the most important part is the bottom. So we're going to take a second. We're going to flip the kayak over, and I'm going to show you where the transducer mounts and how. All right, guys, so look, here it comes out. You can come out, you can mount it. It's already pre-drilled, got holes, undo it, mount your transducer, it'll sit right here. This is gonna allow you to use big units with large side scan systems. That's awesome, it's perfect. Rumor has it, 2020 PDL, Predator PDL has the same setup. That's awesome, it's needed, I look forward to it. I hated being forced to use a Hummingbird product, not that they make a bad product, but I prefer to use the Garmin. Uh, another cool feature is there's a skid plate here, there's a skid plate back there, boom, keeps the kayak safe, makes it last for a long time, obviously they're replaceable, two screws, that's awesome, and that's it, that's the kayak.